Welcome to the first Outblast tutorial on mastersofhardcoreproducer.com. Today I will explain you how to make a kick drum and to be more specific I will explain you how to make the kick drum I used myself in the track called Pride and Pain. I've been receiving a lot of uh, emails and uh, social media messages asking me Mark, how do I make this kick? So I thought I will tell you exactly how to do that one. Uh, as you can see um, we have in front of us an empty Cubase 6 uh, screen set. Uh, you can make this kick in any DAW available, uh, but for today we use Cubase 6. Start off with uh, the creation of an instrument track. Select the Sonic Charge Microtronic. Microtonic, sorry. Uh, most of you hardcore heads are. Uh, might have this plugin already. I've been using this a lot for uh, percussive sounds and of course the kick drums. Uh, let's open or initialize a preset so I can show you how to make this uh, make a nice kick drum from the beginning. We start off with uh, oscillator frequency, set it to C1, right mouse click, enter exact value. Just, just type C1. Uh, I want a triangle oscillator waveform. So that's the center one. I want a decay from around 475. I'll click this. So I have it on my keyboard. I'm pressing an A now. Ah, uh, that's no kick drum. That's more of a snare or something. Or a... So I hear a lot of noise. You have here the noise slider. So all the way to the right. Noise, noise. We don't want it. Just slide it all the way to the left. So it's, it's a sort of a kick now. Pull the put the level open. Some distortion. Around 80 will do. Yeah, it still needs a, lot, a little more attack, so we're gonna modulate the frequency, or we're gonna do some pitch modulation on the frequency. Uh, set the pitch amount on around 28, 29. Right mouse click, 29. Yeah, I know the values because I already did the kick uh, before. <laughs> the rate, set it on around 339 and look yes now we're getting somewhere and for the final step on the microtonic VST we will go to the EQ section it's around here here you have the frequency and here you have the gain we'll set the frequency right mouse click enter exact value at What's nice? What did I do? Uh, let's try 797 hertz. And we will add some gain around 18, 19 hertz. Uh, dBs, sorry. 18. Oh. Let's see how this sounds. That's nice. Here we have the foundation for our Pride and Pain kick. Let's move on to step two. We're gonna add some juice to the to the kick drum. So we go to the insert slots and on the first insert we insert a tone to filter bunk three. I close the microtonic. Get rid of this transport bar. Okay. Here you have the filter bunk 3, we reset this one, so all is back to default. Uh, in filter slot 1 we see a low pass 30 dB filter, low pass filter. We set the frequency of that filter to 1024. We close the resonance, open it a little bit. We add another filter. In slot 2, 
we add a bandpass 15 dB filter we open it 539 Hertz yes resonance closed resonance closed and in the routing section of the filter we set it to filter 1 plus 2 then we get this and you're like what's that that's a filtered kick so now we're gonna add some distortion it's this section in the plugin it says distortion so it speaks for itself we select the tube amp we open it the drive not fully but we close a little bit to here and get this sound and now we're talking hardcore yeah really don't open the drive fully because then it really sounds too harsh when you just reduce it a little bit you get this nice warm vibe to it you hear so I would say like a quarter past before we go to step 3 we first close this one and we move on to the insert slots on the microtonic channel in slot 2 we open a multiband compressor provided with Cubase 6 or 5 you go to Steinberg dynamics and you select the multiband compressor it looks like this there's something I should mention and that is uh, that the idea from using the kick uh, using the multiband on the kick drum channel came from my good colleague and friend mr. Engefist so thank you Engefist for this great idea and tool <coughs> this is the kick <coughs> ah, already some compression <coughs> Let's see. Uh, you said for band one we set thresholds to around 18.6 <coughs> ratio 1.2 a release of 10 so we close the release uh, the attack around 24 so the first punch comes through and then starts compressing we open the gain of the first bond around 6-7 dBs oh here's a nice low, nice low end coming in now we go to band 2 we set the threshold around 18-19 we set the ratio at 1.2 1 we close the release and the attack we set it around 55 little makeup gain 2 dBs I adjust the band a bit so I make it a little bit how can I say smaller a little bit quite some let's see what happens around six seven hundred the third band I'll tighten that one also set it around 2000 Band 3, ratio 18.6, sorry, threshold 18.6, uh, the ratio 1.2, attack fairly slight, open attack, 63, close the release again, we'll open it a bit, 44. We leave no makeup gain for band 3. We go to band 4. We do nothing. Well, the only thing we do is to uh, remove some high. So we uh, decrease the gain a bit, like 1, 2 dBs. And I think we're getting somewhere now. We're really close, as you hear.
those were the multiband settings we'll close this one and I will make a little loop select make a block the A one two three four close it set it 170 170 close it okay that sounds nice um, last step for the microtonic on insert slot 3 we will insert a compressor universal audio power plug-in 1176 if you don't own a UAD DSP card but you do own a waves bundle you can try and use the 1176 by waves it's quite similar or it's similar it's an uh, similar emulation of the original uh, URI 1176 great compressor uh, settings are fairly simple we decrease the input a bit set it for 30 output level 6 now we have to lower the speaker volume a little bit otherwise we will go nuts so you see a little compression gives a nice warm compressed vibe to it um, you might find the sound a little bit awkward or you might find the sound a little different than you expect but that's because uh, I'm recording this uh, using a microphone so you're hearing the 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 signal coming out of my speakers going into the mic so my apologies for that I will see if I can uh, do this different in uh, coming tutorials but we have to do it like this for now then the final step it's uh, the cherry on top what we'll do is uh, we'll add a uh, an audio track boom we add it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, a, a second kick a little kick on top of the the main kick we just made I've already a small sample kick in my pool so I'll, I'll cut this this is a real small I will solo this channel so you will hear I don't know you hear it's a really short punchy kick I sampled somewhere to be honest I don't know where but uh, it's in my library and I use it a lot and uh, what this what this does is that it adds a little nice attack to the kick drum when mixed properly so uh, first we have to remove some low end from this small top kick or add kick I call it um, I'll be using the standard EQ by provided by Cubase it's on the channel you go to band 1 you select the high pass 1 and we cut until like 3-400 Hertz and it sounds like this you hear we put pull the fader all the way down we desolo it the track and let's hear what we can do now i will gently mix or blend the top kick in there you have it your pride and pain kick <laughs> 